Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be looking at copyright strikes. So right now, my channel has two copyright strikes from Adobe. So right now, if you're watching this, maybe you're worried about copyright strikes or maybe you got one already. And especially from Adobe, it seems like they hired a third party company who's just giving out copyright strikes. Anyways, right now, if you look at your channel on the left hand side, top on your, your channel dashboard, you should see something like this if you have one already. So I'm just gonna go into them right now. And here are my two copyright strikes, which is scary because on the third one, it's over. So what options do you have? Well, you can go ahead and just select options. You can go ahead and click on contact claimant, which I tried. They can just choose to ignore you and just never get back to you, which they did. But luckily through there, I found out that it's a third party company. It's not really Adobe who's doing this. So even when I contacted Adobe, they just told me contact that company, which they never get back to you anyways. Your second option will be right here. Counter notification. And I did that. Those two were rejected. So at this point, well, actually when I got my first copyright strike, I decided to just take all my Adobe tutorials and just put them as unlisted. However, although they were unlisted, I still got a copyright strike on my second tutorial. Unlisted means that you can't find the YouTube video searching it on YouTube unless you has have a straight link to it. So it seems like this company already had a link to that particular video. Now, just to let you know the content that they gave me a copyright strike, it's original content. It's from me. So it's nothing that I copied from somewhere else. Also the video that I got a copyright strike is nothing about hacking or anything like that, that would be harmful to Adobe. So it's not about getting that software for free in any way. It was actually the legit way of getting Adobe and signing up for Adobe. So there was nothing really illegal about these videos, which I made. So maybe if you're thinking or you already got a copyright strike from Adobe, I would just not wait. <laughs> right now I put a bunch of my videos on private. However, what I'm going to do next is just delete them. Cause even then I'm afraid of getting another copyright strike. Cause then my channel is done for. And hopefully some of you new YouTubers out there thinking of making tutorials about Adobe who are here, I would suggest to ignore Adobe. Just don't do it. Don't take the risk. Cause once again, these are not new videos. These actually, these videos have actually been out there for a while. So, and if I had my YouTube channel for a couple of years and this just happened right now. So even if you see really old Adobe tutorials up there on YouTube, it could be in a year or two from now that they could get a copyright strike or just maybe a few months or maybe tomorrow. So you don't really know. But anyways, I just want to share my experience so far with the copyright strike. I also contacted YouTube support and they haven't got back to me, but I can't really wait for them to get back to me because I could get another copyright strike until they get back to me. Most likely, I don't think they will be able to help me anyways. Pretty sure they're just gonna tell me to contact the person who gave me the copyright strike, which is this third party company that Adobe has hired. It's pretty sad that Adobe is doing this because at the end of the day, all these tutorials on Adobe right here on YouTube, which are free, are good for them. In the end of the day, they're giving free education about their own software. And it's pretty much free advertising about Adobe software that they get here on YouTube. But hey, if they don't want that, I'm just going to take it out. Anyways, hopefully this video helped you guys out somewhat. I will be posting up other updates if anything else happens. And if all of a sudden you guys see that my channel has disappeared, it's because I got that third copyright strike and this channel is down. So that should give you even more information about what not to do on YouTube. Lesson learned so far, don't make any Adobe videos. Anyways, hopefully this video helped you guys out a little bit. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.